Cause they're not bad. Like I thought they were bad. Go. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Ebony. <laughs> that sounds like my old videos. Sounds like Caleb. Hey guys. Okay, and oh, hopefully you click subscribe. I'm just gonna jump right in. My name is Ebony and nope. Guys, let's just jump right into it because I already recorded this intro and I had lipstick on my teeth. So here we are recording it again. I picked up the synthetic brushes from MAC Cosmetics. They recently released them. They are now currently available on their website. At the time that I purchased them, they weren't, so I got them from Nordstrom's, which I felt like was weird because Nordstrom's had them available before MAC. MAC kept saying, coming soon. Um, so that's how I'm able to get this video up. I've only seen one other video on them and I'm in a MAC mates group on Facebook and I've heard some not so good reviews about them and overall the reviews that I've heard aren't good at all but I'm here to tell you these brushes are not horrible are they different yes but they're not bad they're synthetic which could be a good thing and I almost wish that Mac would have just made a synthetic line and then also had their natural hair brushes. So let's just get into like a comparison so you can see the brushes side by side. The 116 synthetic versus the, let's put these down, the 116 synthetic versus the natural hair 116, there is a difference in the height of these brushes. I could tell that this brush is probably dyed because the color is a little blue. It's like a deep navy blue. Um, it reminds me of the color of a 109, like once you start to wash it. So it's probably a white brush that they dyed blue. It's soft and it's not scratchy but a natural hair powdered brush is going to pick up more color than a synthetic brush will is i mean there's no way around it it just is so i think that's the reason that a lot of people are or one of the reasons rather that a lot of makeup artists are upset about it is because synthetic brushes just no matter what you do they don't perform the same and i think when mac re um, made their brushes to be synthetic they did it with some type of purpose or technology that they would mimic a natural hairbrush. So the next brush that I have is the 224 and I picked this 224 over this one that I have. These are both the natural hair brushes because this one is fluffier. So I felt like to give it a equal shot, I had to compare it against one that looks like it. No 224 is created equal. Like you'll be standing in a store and looking at a 224 and like, Nope, I don't want that one. And it's it, you can be picky as hell when it comes to 224s because you want them to be fluffy. And this brush is not fluffy. So I will say it reminds me of like a 221 and a, two, a 216 together. It, it's not a regular 224. So, I mean, you can do what you needed to do, but this one is gonna deposit more color and you want it to be fluffy so it can diffuse color, if that makes any sense. So the other brush that I have is a 239. And this 239 is the one that I do like. It's, out of all of them, I like this one the most. I feel like this one is the most comparable. Um, I will say that the, Natural Hair 239 is fluffier. This one is definitely stiffer, but when you apply it to your eyes, you can't really tell a difference. You'd be able to use a synthetic brush with cream products, so that's a good thing. So because of that, I think it most resembles the 233 to me. And the 233 is a natural hair and a synthetic brush. So on one side it's synthetic and the other hair it is natural, but it's just as stiff. Yep, it reminds me of a 233 so that kind of sucks because they already have the 233 available let's do the 217 this is the synthetic 217 and then this is the regular 217 now this one this one reminds me of a 217 um delium delium tools has one that is similar to this one i mean no matter what i don't think this one will get as fluffy 
but I use this one to pack on color like right in the corner here so yeah it's definitely stiffer it's definitely stiffer save um, this brush for last because this is the one that I was hoping that would not have changed as much this is my favorite brush I use this for powder and today I use a like dark brunette gel cream brow gel cream from MAC to do my brows and usually I'll use spiked big brow pencil or just a regular spiked pencil and it worked but it's not the 216 that I love so that's the one that I'm most disappointed about but if I had to repurchase it it could get the job done I mean I'm not gonna lie they did a good job I put I, I guess I'm frustrated like I put it down because it's not like I feel like you it's a way to be overly picky and they are not bad brushes they're just different they're not bad at all they're just different and if you're in the market for new brushes then or mac brushes rather and you like the fact that they're going synthetic you've probably already used synthetic brushes so these are not going to be horrible to you but if you are used to using natural hair brushes from mac cosmetics then you are going to notice a difference are they horrible no can they get the job done yes prices these brushes did not change in price and that's another reason that people were upset because they feel like they're synthetic brushes so therefore the prices should adjust and honestly it makes me know never mind I mean a brush is a brush is a brush <laughs> pretty much let's just go on the Mac website and I'm going to tell you what the prices are for these synthetic brushes just in case um, some of you are not familiar with Mac brushes at all all right, so there's another brush I want. I want to get the 106 Triangular Concealer Brush, which is $25. So if any of you guys have that, leave me a comment of your review down below. All right, so let's scroll. Some of their brushes are still available, and I think those are the ones that were probably already made with synthetic hairs. Um, but I'm not 100% sure, so I can't tell you. The 116 retails for 35 US dollars. The 196 retails for 35 dollars, US dollars. And the 217 retails for 24 dollars. The 224 retails for 32 dollars. The 239, which is the eyeshadow brush, this re retails for 25 US dollars. And then the 266 retails for 20 US dollars. All right, so there you have it. Will it make it in my kit? The verdict is. For tuning in for my first video in four years and my first video of 2018 subscribe for four for four for four <laughs> subscribe for more videos to come thanks for tuning in till next time lego